Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so I decided to touch on another subject. Dating. Like, you know, moving on. So this will be, I guess, part two of, well not really part two, but when you're dating. Find someone you vibe with. What I mean by that is someone that you can click with. That just... You you click with on every level. Not just physically. But emotionally. Mentally. Someone who can match your in intellect. Someone who you can sit down and discuss music. And video games. Or, you know, if you're a gamer like myself. Someone who will sit there and watch you play. And just be content and happy with that. To see you doing something you love. And it's okay with that. Find someone like that. Someone who is your good luck charm when you're playing a Grand Theft Auto heist and doing one of the setups that usually get you killed repeatedly and you have to repeat six or seven times. Find you someone who you only you can be on the phone with that's hearing you cuss and scream and rage. And for some reason, not once gives up on you. And says, okay, well, I'm, I'll just talk to you later. I know you're busy. That hearing... <laughs> Guys, newsflash. When your girl just tells you, alright, well, I'll talk to you later. I guess you're busy. That's hint, hint number one. Get the fuck off and talk to me. Spend some time with me. Ladies, I already figured it out. Because I spend more time than I should, than I'd like to do single. Guys, when your girl tells you, if you haven't found a girl that is content to be on the phone, or on Skype, or sitting there, You know, if your girl's on the phone with you, and you're playing your game, and she just tells you, well, I'll just talk to you later. That's red flag. Uh, maybe it's time for me to get off the game. That's her way of saying, I called to talk to you and spend some time with you, but you're on your fucking game. That's, that's girl speak for that. So, when you hear your girl say, I'll just talk to you later... Get off the game. Get off of whatever you're doing. Because if you don't, you're going to be in deep shit later. I promise. Take it from personal experience. If you if your girl asks you, do you want me to call you back? Probably should think about maybe stopping what you're doing. There's a good idea. So, huh. and if you happen to be lucky enough to have your girl in your vicinity, like, you know, in the same room, and she just says, I'll leave you alone, you're playing your game, probably smart to get off the game, because it probably means she wants to spend time with you. Hell, she might even want to have sex with you. But you wouldn't know that because you're too wrapped up in the game. So. Dating. Dating somebody. I can't even point this video towards guys and girls. Not with today's society. So. If you happen to be... In the LGBT, I think it is, community? Yeah. If you happen to be in the LGBT community, and your significant other is same sex, and one of you, one of the two of you is a gamer, it's ideal if you're both gamers. Like, that's the ideal gamer's relationship, is you spend time on the game. Hell, a friend of mine and his girlfriend are together, and they're both gamers. Hell, I play with them every day. Well, 
I say every day, every chance I get, and they're both on, I chill and kick it with both of them. Because, again, I'm a gamer. It's what I am. That's never going to stop. That's never going to change. I may not play as often as I do, or as I used to, but I still play. And that will never change. That is my me time. That is my thing to do to have fun. I don't go out drinking. I don't go out partying. I don't go out. I get onto Grand Theft Auto. I go to a strip club there. I go to Grand Theft Auto. I race my supercar. That's my idea of fun for individual time. So, you guys, if you're, guys, if your significant other is a guy, make sure that they're happy. You take care of your significant other. You make sure that they're okay. You, you know, when you're in a relationship, you can't just do what you want. When you're, you know, you have to consider the other person. For instance, I was watching, I was hanging with my parents last night. And watching um, Big Bang Theory. Because it's one of their favorite shows. And of course it was a rerun. But there was the episode where Leonard and Sheldon and them were all talking about comic books. And, and a comic owning a shop. And I don't know if it was Raj or Sheldon that said something to Leonard about... You know, if I had a girlfriend or a wife or something like that, I would ask her first if I had the funds to spend on something like this. And that's a good point. You have to you have to think about your significant other and how, what they're going to feel like, what they're going to think if you come home. You know, if my girlfriend... And I were struggling, and I came home with a new game. Oh boy, that's my ass. Because I spent the little bit of money we did have on being selfish. So, you need to find... You need to basically run it by your significant other. Something like that. Or really anything, for that matter. You know, if you got something that you want to do, you need to talk to your partner about it. That way you can both come to an agreement and there's no problems later. So, to touch back on my original point, find someone you can vibe with. Find someone who you who just gets you. Who you connect with on every level. Physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. Someone who just gets you. Someone, you know, just find someone that you vibe with. Like, no matter what, they just understand. So, when you're dating, you look for somebody who... You know, every person has standards. Every person has things that they look for in a person. Me? I look for girls with long hair. Geeky girls with glasses. The ones who love music. And if they're short girls, oh, oh my god. Long, dark hair is definitely a plus. So, you know, and I got lucky enough to have somebody come into my life. And it's really good to me. I'm, I don't know, like, there's a lot of people who are not lucky enough to have their dream girl. But I found someone that makes me smile again. And it's just, I don't know, like I vibe with on every level. So, in closing on this particular point, I'm 
gonna say just be true to yourself don't try to play around and impress somebody if they're not impressed by you in your natural state then they don't deserve you very very simple all right well i'm gonna close this up deuces like comment definitely I, I encourage, matter of fact, I insist on the comments. I really need you guys to participate. Don't just leave it. Just help me out here, you know. Like, comment, please. Leave me something to work with here. And I will definitely, if I don't know anything about it, do some research. I will do some research on it. All right, y'all. Till next time, I'm outie.